there, everybody. My name's Meredith. I'm a dog musher from Alaska, and I wanted to give some people a little introduction to dog mushing here. So, welcome to episode one of Dog Mushing 101. I've been running and racing sled dogs for about 20 years now, so I have a little bit of experience. I've competed in sprint races, mid-distance races, junior races, adult races, long-distance races. I've also competed in bike jor, ski jor, canacross, scooter, and cart races. So what is dog mushing? Dog mushing and sled dogs have been around for thousands of years. Earliest archaeological evidence puts them between three and 4,000 years ago that native peoples across Alaska and Canada started using dogs to pull sleds. So it's been around for a very long time. The first races were back in the early 1900s, late 1800s, the most famous of which being the All-Alaska Sweepstakes, of course, which had its 100th anniversary back in 2008. But dog mushing isn't all just about racing, either. There's plenty of people that call themselves dog mushers, because they are dog mushers, and they've never competed in a race, nor have they ever wanted to. There's recreational dog mushing, where you can just hook up a couple dogs to your bike, or a little kick sled, you on your skis, whatever you want, and you go out and run dogs and have fun. And then there's also people that still use sled dogs for their traditional uses, running on trap lines and using them to get from place to place, which is what sled dogs were originally bred for and used for thousands of years ago. So you don't have to be a racer to be a dog musher. So what makes a sled dog? Basically, short answer, any dog that likes to pull a sled. Of course, there are certain breeds that have been bred to be sled dogs for a very long time. The purebred versions of these are the Alaskan Malamute or the Siberian Husky that have been recognized by the AKC. But there's also these dogs that we call the Alaskan Huskies or Eurohounds or Graysters. And these are the dogs that have been bred specifically for sled dog racing. The Alaskan Huskies are a conglomeration of purebred dogs. There's actually a genetic study on them that they're made up of 21 different purebred dog breeds, but they are genetically distinct themselves. So they've been bred so long for what they do and haven't had a whole lot of other breeds mixed in, so they're actually a genetically distinct type of dog. Same with some of the Eurohounds and Graysters as well. They were originally mixes of Pointers and Greyhounds bred with some of the Alaskan Huskies, but nowadays they're kind of their own type, own breed of dog as well. Of course, they're not a purebred dog. They're not recognized by the AKC or the FCI or anything like that. But they do make very good sled dogs because that's what they've been bred to do. Personally, I have Alaskan Huskies and a couple dogs that are related to Eurohounds, but are not actually considered Eurohounds. They're just kind of Alaskan Husky crosses. And that's because those are the dogs that I like to work with. So stay tuned for future episodes of Dog Mushing 101. Might be a little while as we are preparing to race in the 2020 Iditarod. Thank you!